Hi and welcome back to another week of Art at Home with the Creative Place. I'm Anna. This week we're going to be carrying on with our theme of abstraction that we started last week. Last week we learned about an artist called Romero Brito and we used colour and pattern um, to add to our drawings to make them abstract. This week we're going to be doing something similar but learning about another artist called Ari Hallendorn. Let's learn a little bit about him before we get started. Ari Hallendorn is an artist who was born in the Netherlands but now lives here in New Zealand in Wellington. His paintings begin as portraits and then are made abstract by adding patterns and colour. Um, so, so this one again is a portrait and he's added colour and pattern to parts of the face and to the background to kind of exaggerate the face as well. His patterns um, often reflect movement um, and uh, he has used obviously lots of different types of colours through his, through his artwork which is really really cool and cool to take inspiration from. Before we get started today it's a really good idea to get together all of the things that you are going to need. You're going to need some paper, a pencil, an eraser. You're going to need some kind of paint, whether it be watercolour, tempura paint or acrylic paint. Any of the above is okay. I'm going to be using watercolour today. The other things you might like to use are some coloured pencils or some felt pens. The last thing that you're going to need to get ready for today is something to draw, just like last week. Uh, as we saw with Ari Hallendorn's artwork, he likes to use um, portraits, so he likes to use people. You might like to draw your brother, your sister, your mum, your dad, your cat, your dog, um, or you could even get a mirror and draw your own face. Today I'm going to be doing my face in my artwork. When drawing a face, the first thing we're going to do is take notice of the shape. Is it a really round face? Is it a really oval long face? Does it have a square jaw or a pointy chin? Notice um, whatever you're drawing, and it might not be a face, but notice the things about, the interesting things about whatever it is you're drawing. So for my face, I'm going to notice, okay, it's quite an oval face, and I'm going to try and get that shape um, onto my page as the best I can do. Once you have your face shape ready to go, we're going to start adding some lines in our face to help guide where we place things like our eyes and our nose and our mouth and our ears. So I'm adding in three lines uh, to place my mouth, nose and eyes. Bottom one is for my mouth, middle one is for my nose, top one is for my eyes. Just a note that your eye line is around about a half of the way or um, a third of the way down your face, leaving a space at the top for your hair and for your forehead. And here I am just erasing all the lines that I don't want in my painting. So once you're happy with your face outline and you've rubbed away some of the extra marks that you don't really um, need anymore, we are going to get ready to add some colour in. A couple of things you might like to think about is just choosing um, a few colours, whether you might go with more blues or um, cooler colours, whether you might go with warmer colours. Again, it's completely up to you. If you want to use every colour of the rainbow, well then that is definitely okay. You are the artist and you get to decide what you'd like to do. But it is time to start thinking about what types of colours we might use um, in our painting. So let's get your paints ready. Uh, make sure you've got a paper towel or a um, cloth or something to blot your paintbrush on if you need to and some water to wash your brush in. A couple of things you might like to just think about before you get started is um, just like um, Ari Hallendorn does, we might like to think about breaking our face 
and our background up into shapes because he creates abstraction in his artwork through using patterns and through using shape. So the part we're going to do now is just add the foundation of paint before we add the pattern on top. Um, and so I'm going to break, before I do that, I'm just going to break, um, just going to put some little lines in my, on my face. Um, where I might just break my face up a little bit. Um, I might actually also just erase a couple more of these lines through here. I'm also going to just make my crazy hair into a shape instead of making it lots of strands so that it's a little bit easier to um, break down. So I'm starting to add the watercolour into my face, into the shapes that I split it into just before. Notice that I'm just leaving space for my eyes um, instead of filling them in and I will fill them in a little bit later on with a, a different colour. And it's okay that your face starts to take a kind of out of this world type look uh, when you start adding colour to it like this. It's all part of the process. Again, just like Ari Hallandorn has done in his artwork, we've used some colour to create abstraction in our artwork. Now it's time to add some pattern um, by using, um, you could use felt pens, coloured pencils, even um, some paint, although if you are using watercolours, be particularly careful because as soon as you wet that watercolour, it'll start running. Um, if you're using tempera paint or acrylic paint, it's a different story. So I'm beginning um, my pattern making by doing just some dots with my felt pens. I'm going to use felt pens for my pattern and um, I'm trying to exaggerate or emphasize some of the lines and curves of my face through the patterns that I'm using and where I'm putting them. So a good idea to think about what parts you would like uh, to exaggerate and not exaggerate. Um, I'm using different colours, so I'm not always using just one colour, and in fact, I don't use black at all. I just use a variety of other colours uh, instead um, on top. So here I am, a pattern going right from the background onto my face, so try and exaggerate my bottom lip there, and some zigzags. To the point where I really felt like there was a lot of dark colours on my face and I really needed some light to um, make it brighten it up a bit, make things stand out a bit more. So I've actually just gone back and got a really concentrated amount of my watercolour and I'm just using that um, quite carefully over the top of my other watercolour so it doesn't blend in um, to lighten up parts of my face with pattern. I bet by now we've got some beautiful, wonderful, colourful pieces of abstract art. Um, just do remember that abstract art uh, doesn't mean that things need to look realistic and so it's okay and in abstract art it's good that things 
look different and colourful. Um, so I hope you've really enjoyed this lesson. I've really enjoyed creating um, this piece of art um, for this lesson. It's been great. Lots of fun and lots of colour, which is always good. I hope you all have a wonderful week. Please do remember to subscribe to my channel, to check out my Facebook and Instagram uh, pages for The Creative Place. And I will see you guys all next week. See ya.